Okay, uh, this is all about the backswing, okay? People don't understand exactly the way a backswing is supposed to work and they end up lifting too much or not turning enough. But most of the biggest problem I see is this. Club gets too inside too quickly, causes all sorts of problems. Now there's a reason for this, is the one piece takeaway is misinterpreted and people end up doing this. They think that's what a one piece takeaway is. So the best thing to do, in my opinion, is to get rid of that idea of the one piece takeaway because it just gets too many people into too much trouble. Okay? So a proper takeaway involves three independent movements that you want to coordinate. Now, I'm only talking about from the waist up. Obviously, there's hip turn, okay? But I'm not gonna talk about that. So I'm just gonna assume for the sake of this argument that everybody knows that they're supposed to have a hip turn. But if you make the proper movements with the upper body and don't restrict the hip turn, generally speaking, the hips are gonna go in the right place. So here are the, here are the three movements that are involved in a good backswing. Is movement number one is the wrist hinge straight up like this, as if you were gonna clunk yourself in the side of the in the in the front of the head here. Okay? So straight up like this. Move number two is the arms rotate so the hands and shaft rotate 90 degrees, like this. Okay? And you'll notice when I did that the left arm worked up. Okay? So watch that again. See how my left arm worked up? This goes along with another one of my videos where I said the left arm needs to work up. Okay, so that's part of that. The third part of the cohesive movement is the shoulders turning 90 degrees around the spine. Now I understand the shoulders are independent and they don't actually turn around the spine, but for the sake of discussion, you want the shoulders moving perpendicular 90 degrees to the angle that the spine is. So. If you look at those three movements, I'll do them separately and you'll see what a good backswing that turns into. So the hinge, wrist hinge, the arms rotate 90 degrees, so the club shaft rotates 90 degrees, and the shoulders rotate 90 degrees. So you can see, I put the club in a very, very good position with three movements that it doesn't seem like would get you there. So the biggest, the two biggest mistakes that I see people make is obviously there are the f people that turn the shoulders flat, but that's usually a reaction to improper wrist set and improper arm rotation. So, you know, I see a lot of this, and I see a lot of that, okay? That's the arms rotating too much, and the, uh, excuse me, the uh, wrist not working this way. So if you see, wrists go this way, arms rotate this way, shoulders rotate that way. So you want those three movements to be as cohesive and as coordinated as possible. And the way to figure it out is, is you need to figure out which one, two, or even all three of those movements you're doing incorrectly. And as a side note, generally speaking, I'd say 80% of the people that have problems with their backswing are missing movement number one, which is this. So a good drill to work on that is to hit the ball like this. Okay, my balance was a little off, I hit the ball a little thin because it's a strange movement, but what that does is, is that teaches you to work the wrist pro properly. So uh, hopefully you will be able to figure out from watching this video which one of these three movements or two or three movements you're lacking that's making you have a bad backswing.